What's good family? Welcome back to the channel. And this video right here is just wild. It says Florida rapper killed and set on fire after disrespecting his CEO. Let's give it a watch. <laughs> That's Kodak. Oh God, man. I didn't know what's going on, man. My dog, yeah, man. Stop playing, man. One word is that out of here, man. One phone call, that's all. We like the slip and fall commercial, man. You heard me? Huh? I said, I'm going to hit you as soon as I... Uh, yeah, Alrighty. Love you more, Vinci. I'm talking A fire burning brightly early Tuesday morning, an SUV completely engulfed in flames. Inside, a person found dead, neighbors watching in horror. Nigga in SG besides cool that to upload 50 racks. So family, check this out. A couple of days ago, a Florida rapper was killed, set on fire in a vehicle for the police to come in his hometown in the middle of the night. Now we're going to discuss who this gentleman is, but this story kind of crazy because this gentleman is signed to a major rapper or was signed to a major rapper that's based out of Florida. Then a couple months ago, they went back and forth on social media, which we'll later discuss. Now, I don't know if it led to this, but the coincidence of this is that this is the second public artist that we know as of the public that signed to this major rapper based out of Florida who got in tour with him and was months later found themselves deceased in a gruesome way. Who, so before we jump who's into... Who's a major rapper though? Is it Kodak? Come this on. one. Remember, family, I will give you no angle. I just give you the story. So with that being said, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And we're going to jump right to it. Now, this guy who was set on fire, he was obviously set up as authorities found him deceased in the back seat. 26CJ is what he called himself on Instagram. Also dropping a number of music videos alongside a project called King Cobra. Having tracks like Devil Bag with a little over 7K views released 11 months ago with the appearance of Kodak Black in the very beginning. <laughs> Slip and fall commercial, man. You heard me? Huh? I said, I'm going to hit you as soon as I leave this shit. Alrighty, now you more than see. Now, 26 CJ alluded that he has something to do with Where's the Wizard Demise, which is ironically his highest view song, which was strangely put out after the demise of Where's the Wizard, with him not in the video, only old footage of him in old videos, in a title track called Shooters. I told him, Pablo, like, I told him, like, every day we gonna slide, like, we load this drink up, like, I love this shit, like, I'm talking about. Hey, you live by the sword, you die by the sword. Now, here's a photo with 26 CJ to your left, and where's the wizard in the middle? Now, unfortunately, in September of 2021, where's the wizard will come to his demise as foul play will be suspected as he was dumped in front of a porch. Peter suspects foul play. Local tense Ian Marlowe is live with details on this. Ian. Yeah, police cleared this scene about an hour and a half ago at this point. This is the home where that man was found, but there are still a lot of questions left to be answered here. Namely, why did this happen and where was this man killed? Make their way into a crime scene after a man was found dead on a sidewalk Friday. Investigation continues. There's going to be detectives reaching out to the family friends trying to get some more information. According to Hallandale Beach Police, a neighbor found the body around 6 a.m. in front of this home on Northwest 6th Terrace and 9th Court. It's unclear at this point if the man was actually killed there or if his body was dumped, but police say he did grow up in the area. Although law enforcement hasn't confirmed who he is, the victim has been identified on social media as rapper Wiz the Wizard. And as people gathered at the scene, some pushed their way under the crime scene tape. When you suspect that it might be a family member of yours or a loved one, uh, you would want to try to confirm that for yourself. It wasn't anything 
malicious or ill will. It was just a, trying to get their own confirmation. Now, investigators are working to figure out who did this and why. And we're making a plea to the public at this time that if anyone has any information that could help us assist with a suspect, then that would be greatly appreciated. It's crazy out here. So this is still very early stages of this investigation. Wiz to Wiz. Now, people thought that situation was strange because only weeks before he got into a public view with Kodak Black. And some say the way he came to his demise had some correlations with Haitians. But fam, I want you guys to check out how he lost his life compared to this recent ex sniper gang artist who recently lost his life. Wow. Now before we disclose 26 so season. Both these dudes were sniper gang artists, which is crazy. And if you guys didn't know, a lot of times like when you do get signed to a label, they put they put a life insurance on these artists that if they do die, they may get like whatever the life insurance is, like whether it's like a million dollar life insurance or like two hundred million dollar life insurance, it doesn't matter. But with the death of that person, there's money being given out. That's if there was life insurance. Today's story that happened this week. When Wiz the Wizard had lost his life, Kodak Black had posted this to his Instagram story. And a photo with him and another person, and I guess they both deceased in a caption back to back. This prompted Kodak Black to go back and forth with Wiz the Wizard cousin, who's also a rapper, one side the Kodak. Did I true, homie? Wiz, we ain't got to shoot. I'll shoot your sh We can fade, cuz. You steady flagging, cuz nigga really live. I want a nigga in SG besides Kodak to upload 50 racks. Now, recently, people saying Kodak knew his artist who was let go, 26 CJ, who we later gonna discuss, had this to say about Kodak. Now, three months ago, it was a situation where 26 CJ had allegedly got his SG chain to. Now, he went to Facebook, well, Instagram, and wrote this. I've been real quiet about this FA because I thought we was going to keep it gangster. But I see y'all don't respect real no more. Y'all respect the internet. So after I drop this interview, expect a whole lot of exposing and disrespect coming out of me and my music. And on every social platform, since you look, want to play, let's play. Now, that's how people really put two and two together because he followed up with another post that was directly aimed at Kodak. If you ever got shot and the person who shot you still walking around without a scratch, you too. I can't beef with you. You're not qualified. And people making that reference to when Kodak was shot in the leg in L.A. Now, Kodak went to Instagram live and immediately had this to say. Yeah, that's how, that's, you know I'm coming like that. When I got shot, I ain't feel that. That's how, that's. You know I'm cut. I ain't even fed that I was still on my feet. I ain't even know I was here, so. I feel like that. I ain't even, man. That's crazy. Having to be like a battleground for these like dudes and shot like you at war. In my security fight. Wow, man. I'm going to jump out there with my security. Now, in the public eye, it was seeing that situation with that am. It's a recently. CJ, with 26 CJ, was found in this vehicle that we earlier discussed in flames. Tuesday morning, Papano Beach, according to a Broward County spokesperson, Miranda Grossman, someone called 911 around 6.30 a.m. to report a vehicle fire on a 200 block of Northwest 32nd Court. A cell phone video had captured a white SUV engulfed in flames as thick as the dark smoke shoots into the air. A nearby dumpster also caught on fire. Neighbors were seen coming outside watching in disbelief. To a neighborhood on edge in Pompano Beach after a body was found in a burning car. Our local 10's Leanne Marahone is live with a reaction from some really frightened neighbors and understandably so, Leanne. Yeah, they really were scared by all of this. I want you to take a look, though, because since we last joined you an hour ago, you can see that burned out car is now on the bed of a tow truck that will now be taken away as evidence as investigators continue their investigation. A fire burning brightly early Tuesday morning, How did an that SUV happen? completely engulfed in flames. 
Inside a person found dead, neighbors watching in horror. This man says he heard an explosion. When he looked outside, he saw the vehicle burning. The view from Sky 10 shows the aftermath, a charred white SUV heavily damaged. The foam used to put out the fire left behind after the firefight. Police taped off the area near Northwest 2nd Terrace and 32nd Court, right behind an apartment complex and adjacent to a canal. At approximately 6.30 a.m. this morning, um, Pompano Beach Fire Rescue got a 911 call in reference to a car on fire. A Pompano Beach spokesperson says a nearby dumpster was also on fire in addition to the SUV. Firefighters discovered the body in the back seat. We know it's an adult, um, and so the rest were leaving up to investigators. Homicide and crime scene investigators came out to the scene, as well as the state fire marshal. Many times when the state fire marshal is called out, it's due to extensive damage, and many times when death is involved. Was that miedo? Neighbors left unsettled by the grisly scene, just steps from their doors. And back out live, you can see they are still getting ready to take this car away. At this point, the identity of the person that was found inside of the vehicle has not yet been released. What's still unclear is how exactly that person died, whether it was a result of that fire or something else. Reporting live in Pompano Beach, Leanne Morejon. Reporting live in Pompano Beach. Unfortunate. I ain't putting two and two together. I'm just presenting the facts, and I let y'all talk to me in the comments. Fam, that was the story of a rapper who unfortunately lost his life while being set on fire in the backseat of a vehicle. I want to say rest in peace to anyone who lost their life. Love and condolences to the family and to anyone else who was affected by the series of events that we briefly touched on. Fam, talk to me in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Man. Well, yo, comment down below what you guys think about this situ right, situation right here. Obviously, we can tell just through the evidence that's shown in this video that these people that we're dealing with, they are evildoers. You know what I'm saying? They're wicked. They have hardened hearts. And it does say in the Bible that wicked people cannot go to sleep until they do evil. So it seems like this is what they're living for. This is what they're really striving off of are their evil deeds and whatever they do on that, on the dark side of things. And as you guys can see, it's getting crazy. It's getting really wicked. But um, we got God on our side. Comment down below what you guys think about the situation. You think it had to really do a Kodak Black? Let's see, man. Comment down below. I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. The same way you're going to catch me in the next one. Make sure you do like and subscribe. Peace. Love y'all.